In the last video, we introduced the properties of real numbers. We learned things like commutativity, associativity, and so on. And I gave you three practice questions. So in this video, we're going to talk about which of these are equivalent and why using the properties if they apply. So before we go through the solutions, if you enjoy the videos that they help you out and you have the financial methods to support the channel, you can subscribe as a member for only $2 or $5 Canadian a month, and you can help me continue to make videos. So if you do, I appreciate you. Anyways, let's talk about these. So is 3 times x plus 2y, where x plus 2y are in brackets, is that equivalent to 3x plus 6y? So let's start by giving you the answer. The answer is yes. So why is this? Well, we need to use the property called distributivity. So distributivity says that if I multiply a number by two things that are added together in brackets, what I can do, and I'll write this out again, 3x plus 2y, is I can take this number 3, and I'll multiply it by x, and I'll multiply it by 2y, and I'll add those two things together. So what I get is 3 times x plus 3 times 2y, and that's distributivity. Now at this point, I can simplify a bit. So 3 times x is just going to remain as 3x because we don't know what x is, but we have 3 times 2y. So we have three sets of 2y, and that gives us 6y in total. So we can just multiply the coefficients out. And we found then that yes, these are equivalent, and we've shown that using distributivity. So the next question, we have pi plus negative pi, and we're asking, is this the same thing as negative pi plus pi? What we could do to make this really simple is we could just add these together. So yeah, pi plus negative pi gives us 0, and negative pi plus pi gives us 0. So yeah, these are the same thing. But we could have just looked at the term commutativity, because we know that when we add two numbers together, it doesn't matter whether or not we add a plus b or b plus a. That's fine. So using commutativity, we know that these are the same thing. Some other terms we learned last time is that whenever we take a number and we add the negative same number, that is called its inverse. And what happens when you take a number and you add its inverse together, you get the identity for whatever operator you're using. In the case of addition, that means that we get 0 back. So because we've taken a number, we've added its inverse, we get 0 as our result. So there's three terms that we have there. Now the last question is a little bit more complicated, but is it really? Let's see. So I'm going to rewrite this. And one important thing to remember is that when you multiply a numerator and a denominator, you don't have to do them in the same order, or sorry, what, what I mean is you do the numerator once and then you do the denominator, you do these separately. With commutativity though, because we're multiplying things out, so for instance 2 times x plus 3, it doesn't matter what order we do those in. So we can rewrite this. We can say this is x plus 3 times 2 divided by and when we take a look inside 3 plus x, we can switch these around too because we're just adding two numbers. So we can say this is x plus 3 times 4. So just by reordering things using commutativity on the top and the bottom, on the top for multiplication, on the bottom for addition, we see two similar terms. We see x plus 3 on top, we see x plus 3 on the bottom. This is the same thing, essentially, as multiplying everything by 1. So x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is just the same thing. So essentially, we're multiplying by 1. And that leaves us with 2 over 4, since we can just cancel out similar terms. Now, what's 2 divided by 4? Well, if we divide the top and bottom by 2, we get 1 half. So yes, these are equivalent. And by using commutativity on the numerator and the denominator, we've been able to find that, yes, these are equivalent. So that's properties of real numbers. If you have any questions about these, feel free to post them in the comments, and I'll do my best to get to you as soon as I can.